Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about Vital Tantra. And the topic for this video is Vital Tantra, the core mind sets. So again, as I mentioned for the, the core practices, Vital Tantra is evolving and it's not fixed. But here are some of the core mindsets that have been evolving and emerging uh, for me over the last a uh, few years since I started my spiritual journey, which was actually 25 years ago. So here are some of the, the, the beliefs and some of the mindsets I actively work with. The first mindset is that my home is the planet. It means that wherever I am, this is my home. I'm not associated with one specific location. I'm not crystallizing myself uh, in one specific area of the world. My home is the planet. I feel good wherever I am. Second mindset is my family is humankind. The vital Tantra stream includes absolutely every living form on this planet, including all human beings. Nobody is left out. No matter what tradition you are in, no matter how many shadows you have inside of you, Vital Tantra includes everything and everybody. Nobody is left behind. This is another core mindset. The third core mindset is that I respect every living form. It's respect for nature, respect for all human beings. I care for nature, all animals and all living forms. And whatever action I, I want to take, whatever decisions I make in life, is uh, keeping that in mind, a sense of protection towards uh, nature and humankind. Another aspect which is very present is the sense of service. My life is dedicated to the evolution of humankind and the planet. This means that absolutely that everything that I'm doing for the last uh, 15 years of my life has been in alignment with what I feel the planet and humankind needs. Of course, it overlaps with the personal agenda. Uh, you know, for instance, making money while teaching or being able to sustain myself or, uh, you know, having fantastic relationships with with uh, with a lover for instance or having a great social life and having a great time on this planet goes all together with being in service it means that it's not exclusive but the context in which all that is happening is a context of service the reason why i'm recording this video is not because i want to make money with you or that i want to sell you something or that i'm trying to force my own personal agenda on you no it's because i feel that this information might be useful to you and uh, once you integrate or include that information, it might give you a greater understanding about who you are and maybe some mindsets and core ideas that you can start applying in your life yourself. So the reason why I'm doing it is because I care. You know, I can see that somewhere around the world, maybe you, you need to hear that information and this might change your life forever. Uh, yeah, another core uh, mindset or, or belief is that I don't create separation, I don't create duality in the sense of splitting myself. It means that um, um, if you see a shadow inside of you, like a sense of anger or jealousy, or you feel some irritation, negative emotions, or you feel that you have an impulse which is you know, a little bit dark or a little bit in the a, in a shadow mode, rather than trying to exclude yourself from, from that emotion, you uh, bring it in. And you bring it in by, in, in a sense, uh, with the intention of mastering that emotion. Um, if you go to my website back, you see that there is a whole area which is called Vital Shadows. And the idea there is to uh, master your shadow, it is shadow mastery. It's a little bit like if you go on the ocean and you decide to go surfing and you see these big uh, waves coming, uh, the goal is to be able to serve these waves, to play with this energy rather than um, feeling afraid by them. So um, the shadows 
the, the vital shadows, the shadows inside of you, everybody has them, okay? Uh, nobody's perfect, nobody's up there living a transcendental life without having any personal desire or egoic impulses. Sometimes you might lie, sometimes you might uh, have an emotion that is a little bit out of balance in your system and so on. So the vital shadows is a vast topic and I will come back to that. But the core idea is that we don't pretend to be something that we are not. You are human, you are imperfect and you have shadows and we totally bring that into the core of our tantric practices and accept them, bring them on and find ways of navigating them, playing with them instead of uh, trying to uh, reduce them and exclude them out of our lives. So yeah, we want to be virtuous, we want to aim for the light, but uh, light and darkness play together and in the core of your being it's the movement of this yin and yang uh, energies that create the, the, the full spectrum of who you are. Uh, if you have a friction with somebody, you know, some form of conflictual situation, rather than running away from it, you are going to maybe engage with it and start playing with it. So this idea of vital shadows and playing with the shadows is uh, another core aspect of Vital Tantra. It stays safe, okay, I have some uh, very core guidelines there that uh, make sure that, um, you know, nothing, nothing bad will, will happen with that. Um, yeah, another core uh, mindset is really the, the care for your body and your mind. It means that what we, the vehicle that you receive here, your personal vehicle, is something that you need to really nurture and take care of. And uh, that's uh, one of your top priorities as well. Another core mindset is that we totally include uh, money, wealth, um, material power, financial mastery in the in the core of uh, these beliefs. Money is not some kind of evil force that is out there that is trying to destroy us. No, not at all. Money is as secret as anything else. And uh, what ma what might be the challenge is how to master uh, money itself. You know, the things that we think are are bad um, about money is not money itself. It is the use that we might make of it. So. Money is just another force, another energy, it's as secret as anything else. The same with technology, the same with uh, cities and urban uh, environments. Um, so all that is really part of the vital tantra system. We are not excluding anything. Uh, I'm enjoying my emotions, I'm enjoying my sex life, I'm enjoying the money and the wealth that I can generate. Uh, all that is part of, of life and we totally embrace it with our uh, whole being. Um, another aspect is the, um, you can call that the cosmic or galactic dimension of what we are doing. Uh, right now I'm totally including the fact that we are not necessarily Earth-based as human beings. We have energetic connections with um, forces, energies, intelligence that go beyond planet Earth. And um, that's totally included within the system as well. It means that we are galactic beings, we are cosmic beings, and we happen to be incarnating on this planet. But our life and energy goes way beyond this uh, sphere that we call planet, uh, planet Earth. Um, what else comes in my field right now? I think that um, I'm going to stop right, right there, right now, with uh, this, this information. There is, of course, much more to say. If I was recording this video uh, again tomorrow, uh, maybe other elements would come, and uh, I could check my notes as well to see if there is some, something essential that I forgot. But of course, there is much more to say about any of these topics, and um, uh, this uh, list could totally be extended. There is much, much more. Uh, there, including you know community life visions, um, or oh yeah, something else that is important to to understand is that I'm not uh, encouraging either a path of uh, you know brahmacharya or celibacy or a path that is you know uh, polyamory or open sexual behaviors or family I mean everything is fine as far as I'm concerned it's up to you to decide in which direction you, you want to go so 
uh, there is a tremendous amount of uh, freedom and space in those choices that you can make on that level. Yeah, okay. That's it for now. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.